The sun has risen over Bangkok, Thailand. It's time to get up and go get some breakfast and get the day started. And it's time for my first ride in a tuk-tuk. I've arrived in an area with some street food vendors. Let's check out what we got here. Some fresh fruit. Whoa, gigantic durians. These things are crazy looking. And they have a very strong odor. So many pineapples. I'm kind of scared to ask the price because of the man wielding that giant machete around. Oh, this looks good. Uh, maybe not. What? What is that? I guess I will just settle on some tea. Ah, oh, look at those flies. I hope none of them end up in my tea. Ugh! All right, with my tea for breakfast, I'm ready to hit the road. If I can actually cross this street the crosswalks in Thailand are more like uh, suggestions. Whew. It looks like we found Chinatown, Bangkok. Kitty. Hi. Are you a good kitty? Can I pet you? Uh, kitty. Hi. What are you doing? Yeah. Yes, we have those bananas. We have those bananas and some nuts that are drying on the curb. <clears throat> Fried chicken. Good pricing, too. I'm not sure of the exact breed, but I like the mohawks on these little birds. Whoa, now that is a truck. Looks like we got a Thai redneck amongst us. Ready to go mudding. This is my ideal house. Parking. Live upstairs. Nothing else. It's always fun to just stop and watch the traffic here in Bangkok. I'm sure they have laws and regulations, but it does get to be entertaining. People just kind of pull out in front of each other and it's just kind of a shuffle. Here's that democracy monument again. It sits in the middle of a huge traffic circle. It kind of reminds me of something from Paris, France. It's beautiful. Now, I'm pretty knowledgeable about cars, but I have no idea what this thing is. If you know, please leave a comment below and educate me because I'm at a loss. I mean, the badges say Vega, but I don't know of any modern Chevy Vega. 
here is another very Thai automotive thing, a van chocked full of stereo equipment. After that little adventure, it was time to head back to the hotel. Health-wise, I was starting to feel really bad. being sick when you're on vacation. I have to try to find a pharmacy today and maybe I can get some medication to fix uh, whatever is going on here. If you find yourself feeling under the weather, do not do what I did here. Find a method of transportation that is no stress, air conditioned, and will get you to an exact address. This water taxi was loud, hot, and stressful, and I'm not sure that I got off in the right location. Let's just say, being sick, that I wasn't thinking very clearly. The stop that I chose was just a little bit sketchy. And at this point, I'm starting to feel completely lost. I have no idea where I am, and some mild freaking out ensues. Fortunately, I located the pharmacy. It was actually a very pleasant experience. I described my symptoms, and for about five dollars I got these medications. No prescription needed. This is the way healthcare should be. And I know it sounds silly, but there was a KFC located next door. I don't know, just something about getting an American meal with a fountain drink. It was comforting. It made me feel more at home. Okay, after dinner, after taking some of my medication, I headed back to the water taxi and I found that I had missed the last boat for the evening. And again, don't do what I did here. Get yourself a taxi or an Uber. Don't try to walk back to your hotel because it didn't seem that far. It's further than you think, but... Some of these neighborhoods got pretty sketchy, which is not a good thing at night, especially when you're sick and not thinking straight. I gotten myself.
I really have no idea where I'm at. But at least on this street, there are plenty of people and some lights. Fortunately, I was able to find my way back to my hotel. So I'm alive to tell the tale of my aimless wanderings at night in Bangkok, Thailand's back streets and alleyways. Anyway, thanks for watching today's episode. Catch my next video and we'll see if that medication kicks in. <laughs>